Hi, my loves. It's your girl, Mally, and we are here for the Halloween episode of Mally Makes It Better. Oh, yes, y'all. It is Halloween. It might look a little different, but you can still have fun. You can still enjoy and um, you can still party, honey, just as long as you keep it safe. We're going to have a great episode today. I'm going to give you a super easy makeup tutorial that you can do on top of the makeup you already have done, perhaps in the day. We're going to do some super fun crafts with your pumpkins. And we're going to, of course, make some delicious treats. Because what's Halloween, y'all, without some treats? So ready? We're going to get spooky. We're going to get spooky. We're going to get spooky. Or if you don't want to get spooky, I get it because I don't love getting spooky. We'll at least have a good time, okay? So let's enjoy. Get ready for the Halloween episode of Mally Makes It Better in five, four, three, two. I don't know what that was. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. We always go apple picking. And if there's one thing we always do, we always get too many apples. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to create what we like to call apple nachos. Don't worry, there's no cheese involved. You can use any apples you like and you slice them up, lay them on a plate and get ready because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna decorate this baby. So now we're gonna take our beautiful white chocolate, try to drizzle it on. So take it, and again, the, oh, more is more, right, around here. Take it and just kind of swirl it around, kind of touching each of these beautiful apples. Just go ahead and swirl it around. Again, remember, it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's Halloween. We're gonna take a little bit of melted caramel, oh yeah, hello, and we're gonna just pour it right on top and just kind of like drizzle it through. Our family likes a little caramel, not gonna lie. So now we're gonna take some pretzels to put them in a baggie and just kind of crush them up. And you're just gonna swirl it all on top. A little bit of those broken pieces of pretzel and then wait for it. I have some peanut butter pumpkins that I'm gonna take and just smush on top. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, so there you have with your peanut butter cups. But remember, you can use toffee, you can use any kind of chocolate product, you can use anything you want. Give it a shot. Okay, how about a no carb way to decorate your pumpkins. We did something totally different this year. Um, it was a little bit of an extravaganza as it always is, but I think she turned out super cool. So check out our step-by-step -step fun and interesting way that we created this brand new painted melty crayon pumpkin. We went and we got some pumpkins and we sprayed them with some spray paint. I told the girls, Go crazy. It doesn't have to be your typical Halloween colors. You can have fun with them and you can really just stretch your imagination because the world is your oyster when it comes to creativity. So Vivian, of course, went for pink. She's like, just like her mom. And this is actually Pilar's pumpkin she let us borrow, which is a very, very beautiful baby blue. And if you can see, she sprayed some diamond dust glitter on it, which, hi, who doesn't love more glitter in the world? Thank you. Can I get an amen? You're going to take those painted pumpkins and you're going to choose the color crayons that you want. We're going to go for a rainbow kind of pastel situation for the baby blue one. So what you want to do is you want to take your crayons, your old crayons. We had about 10,000 million. Um, what you're going to do then is you're going to take some glue or a glue gun. This glue gun has seen better days. And we're just basically going to set the crayons exactly where we want them to create the look that we want. So what we did over here was we just basically took a bunch of glue from the glue gun and we went all the way around and created kind of like a little sort of sea of hot glue and we're just sticking the crayons right on it. 
And this is gonna be a very colorful pumpkin. Okay, now it's time to get the hair dryer. I highly suggest putting something on your counter because it could spray. Protect yourself at all times. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> we did it with the hair dryer, and we liked it, but we just wanted it to have a little more. So, step two, we took a little bit more of the crayons, we melted them into a little cup, and watch this. Now what we did is we take it and go right on top, and create those beautiful, long spider-like looks. But I love the fact that there's like a couple of different textures, and then also you have the long melty pieces. Have fun with new and amazing ideas, and guess what? If it doesn't work, just improvise because that's exactly what we did right here and right now. Okay, so now I'm going to make some Halloween candy bark that's super colorful, super fun, and you, trust me, will not be able to resist it, and you'll probably eat too much, because that's what happens to me. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some more of our trusty white chocolate. I know we've been using a lot of white chocolate in this show, but um, it really is too about being colorful and easy to create. So what I've done is I've taken a little bit of white chocolate, put it into these three little bowls, and we are going to take some uh, food coloring, and we are going to put a couple of drops and create some fun shades of chocolate. So let's start with less is more as we swirl it in. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, yes. Look how pretty. Love that. Take a few drops of the purple. I'm gonna go kind of big with the purple one. Wow, yes. And now we're gonna do some orange and swirl it in. Ooh, yes, that one got fierce. We're gonna lay down this white chocolate onto a wax paper lined pan. You're gonna take that heated up colorful chocolate and basically just kind of drop it in like so. Take this beautiful, special, whatever this is. This is called toothpick. And you're basically gonna start swirling it through to create a beautiful look. Now that might have been a lot. Keep on swirling, keep on swirling. And remember, you don't want it to get hard like I just did. But look how pretty. Okay, so now we've got our green and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna pour it. Whoops! Now we've got our green. <laughs> and we're just gonna pour it all through here. Take your trusty little toothpick and go through it again. It might look a little crazy, but it smells really good. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm kind of loving the way it looks with just the purple and the green. So here's where it gets fun. You can get all different kinds of sprinkles and all different kinds of fun little candies and just start sprinkling it in. Ooh, yes! See how pretty that is? A little bit more of the orange and the black. Super cute. We love a little savory with our sweet. So take some potato chips, kind of smush them in like so. Oh my gosh. Some pretzels again. And there you go. I promise it will taste amazing. <laughs> Love you guys. Okay, so chances are you look at the clock and you're like, oh my gosh, 
Everybody's ready, the snacks are made, uh, the candy is out, but you don't have a costume. Well, let me show you a fast and easy thing that you can do on top of your own makeup. Oh yes, so if you had makeup on that day, just put it right on top. And you can be Halloween ready in a quick flash with just a few products. Get ready, we're gonna be a very cute and happy clown. Let's be honest, you know and I know that clowns get a super bad rap, right? Because, well, quite frankly, they're scary. <laughs> but we can certainly make a clown cute and fun and happy and not frightening. Pretend that you are just wearing your regular makeup. Sure, fine, all good to go. Here's what I wore today. Just gonna take a few simple things to create a very cute clown. I'm going to take a purple eyeliner. It's a very easy plum eyeliner. I'm going to create the little lines that they do on the top and the bottom or the little kind of cone shapes. Then you kind of want to just map it out. I like to maybe look straight ahead into the mirror and kind of make these little lines on either sides of your iris. So again, if you're looking straight into the mirror, yeah, I think I'm gonna take it actually out a little bit further towards the arch of the brow. Yeah, that's pretty good. The idea too is I think you want it wider, kind of at the lash line, the top and bottom lash line, and then create it like long like that. Then you can take a shadow stick, super easy, and just kind of start filling in. Load up that creamy shadow stick and just start. Oh, that's creepy. The door just opened, but it's the dog. So we're okay. Very spooky. Okay, and then just go ahead and fill in. Anything that you can use, it needs to be though, guys, kind of creamy because you need to create the shape. I feel like I need a little more eyeshadow so that there's not that much space in between the lash line and the brow. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker purple, just to kind of make, there we go just to kind of make a little more, uh, you know, close the gap. Yeah, there we go. Let's go in and hit the nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a little heart on the tip of the nose. So we're gonna start right here in the center. I have a, a, a little beauty mark, a mole, right? On the center of my nose, which Every time someone takes a professional picture of me, almost always removes it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna kind of work on the mouth. Um, maybe I'm gonna step away and I'm gonna start using a little bit of a brown eyeliner. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of take it and kinda of lengthen it like so. I am a ventriloquist, did you see that? Mm. And then you can kinda of fill in the corners like that. And you can go all the way around and create the whole new lit line. <laughs> this is a blush stick and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of brightness to the cheek. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush, go ahead and just tap it on like this. And just go ahead and go to tone. If you wanna grab that lip brush or do whatever, just like so, or you can take another pink and just kinda add that lip. 
There you go. I'm gonna take a shadow stick in Moonlight, a beautiful like sort of pop of champagne. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that right in the inner corners just to make it look bigger and a little more pronounced. And I've already done a little, but I'm gonna do a little more right on the tip of the nose like that to just add a little highlight there. If you want to, you can add a little bit here to make it a little bit brighter. There's no rules. You can add glitter, or again, you could just keep it just like it is. Should I add a wig just for kicks and giggles? Just a little extra, okay? This is literally uh, from a Halloween store. Some ribbons that were from some wrapping paper that I got from a present, and all of a sudden, takes it to a new level. And I hope you will try something new, try something fun. Um, even if it only takes a few seconds, it does make memories for the rest of your life. And your kids will think you're absolutely crazy like mine think of me. Okay, so normally at the end of every Mally Makes It Better show, I do a question from my Instagram or from my Facebook or something like that. Today, I just wanna leave you with a little bit of an inspirational message. And the message I have for you is, can we just please be kind to one another? Guys, we're going through a lot. We are seeing things that we thought we've never seen. We're spending time with people, especially in our homes, with our families, more than I think we ever have before. Can we please just take a breath, realize that we are all different, that we are all special, that we were all created uh, to be who we are. And let's just love one another for who we are. Everybody has something unique and special and wonderful about them. So let's lift each other up, okay? Let's hold each other close and let's remember that we were all created to be the special, beautiful, unique, incredible individuals that we are. It's easy to listen to a lot of chatter and hear a lot of hate and a lot of anger. But man, it's so much better to love one another and accept one another for who we are. I'd love to leave you with that message today. I'm so incredibly grateful and honored to be in your life, even just the tiniest little bit. Thank you again for joining me for this Halloween episode of Mally Makes It Better. And until next time, stay gorgeous and be a positivity preacher. Let's go get spooky. Mom, be cool. We'll see you next time.